Okay, so today is Monday, February 14. Hoy estamos lunes, 14 de febrero. And today we are going to do the next activity of your consigna about the listening and comprehension. Hoy vamos a hacer la siguiente actividad de su consigna acerca de la escuchar y responder o hacer una actividad acerca de lo que escuchemos. Ok, so eh, before I forget, antes que se me olvide, tomorrow we are going to have a quiz. Mañana vamos a tener una lección. Okay, anyone, can anyone tell me what are we going to present? Alguien me puede decir que vamos a presentar? Presente perfecto. Thank you, Sofia. We are going to present the present perfect. Okay, you have a, the grammar in your notebook. Ya tienen toda la gramática en su libreta. You can practice the exercise. Pueden practicar los ejercicios. Actually, when we check the exercise, we didn't have any problems. De hecho, cuando revisamos en la tarea de casa del presente perfecto, pues pude observar que no tuvieron ningún problema. Remember, the present perfect grammar is with the verb auxiliary have and the Past participle of the verb. Recuerden que el presente perfecto, pues, se forma del verbo auxiliar have y el verbo principal en pasado participio. Actually, today the exercise about listening is a, a conversation that is in present perfect. And I think this exercise will help us to practice the topic for tomorrow. De hecho, jóvenes, el ejercicio del día de hoy, pues, es una conversación en listening que está en tiempo de presente perfecto y nos va a ayudar a practicar para la lección del día de mañana. Ok, so give me one second. I am going to send you the exercise in classroom. Que me den un, un segundito. Voy a pasarles la actividad en Classroom. Mientras vayan entrando a su Classroom. Ok, now you can open the document. Ahora sí ya pueden abrir el documento, jóvenes. The exercise is to listen the audio and complete the conversation. El ejercicio pues es escuchar el audio y completar las conversaciones. As you can see, is in present perfect. Como pueden ver, la conversación está en presente perfecto. Let me know when you open the document. Me avisan cuando ya tengan abierto el documento. Yeah. Thank you, Jesús. You can, you can work on that document. Pueden trabajar en ese documento. That is the evidence that you have to send. Esa va a ser la evidencia 
que me tienen que enviar. Ok, are you ready? ¿Ya están listos? Sofía, Parra, Diego, Albert, are you ready? Profe, se me entregó la clase. ¿Qué hace? What, Mauricio? Ya, yo también ya te he visto, profe, pero se me entregó la clase. Ah, ok. So, let's start. Vamos a comenzar, jóvenes. This is the activity, and let's hear the audio. Vamos a escuchar el audio. Conversation number one. Conversation one. Has... Do you hear? ¿Lo escuchan? Yes. Ah, excellent. Conversation one. Has Bob arrived yet? No, he hasn't gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Hmm, maybe he's overslept. Or maybe he's forgotten there's a meeting. Conversation two. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Oh, why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. Almost done. Conversation three. How long have you known Joe? I've known him since high school. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, we've been best friends for a while. Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Conversation four. Nice sweater. I haven't seen it before. Oh, this old thing? I've had it forever. How come you haven't worn it very much? Well, it has been too hot to wear it. Okay. One more time. Conversation one. Has Bob arrived yet? No, he hasn't gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Hmm, maybe he's overslept. Or maybe he's forgotten there's a meeting. Conversation two. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Oh, why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. Almost done. Conversation three. How long have you known Joe? I've known him since high school. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, we've been best friends for a while. Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Conversation four. Nice sweater. I haven't seen it before. Oh, this old thing? I've had it forever. How come you haven't worn it very much? Well, it has been too hot to wear it. Okay. How do you feel the audio? ¿Cómo sintieron el audio? Fácil, difícil. They speak quickly. Hablan rápido. El mío casi no se escuchó porque yo estaba atorando mi computadora. Se escuchó como muy rápido. Yo lo escuché muy rápido. Ok, do you want to hear one more time? ¿Quieres escucharlo una vez más? Yes. Very good. 
But did you find any answer? Encontraron alguna respuesta. No, Fátima, no. So, so. No. Don't worry. No se preocupen. Let's hear it one more time. And then we do the exercise together. Y después, todos juntos, realizamos el ejercicio. Conversation one. Has Bob arrived yet? No, he hasn't gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Hmm, maybe he's overslept. Or maybe he's forgotten there's a meeting. Conversation two. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Oh, why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. Almost done. Conversation three. How long have you known Joe? I've known him since high school. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, we've been best friends for a while. Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him for some time. Conversation four. Nice sweater. I haven't seen it before. Oh, this old thing? I've had it forever. How come you haven't worn it very much? Well, it has been too hot to wear it. Very good. Excellent. Now let's do the exercise together. Okay, so as you can see, the conversation, como pueden observar, las conversaciones are in present perfect tense. Las oraciones están en presente perfecto. <coughs> And actually, the missing words are verbs in past simple. De hecho, si se fijaron, las palabras que hacen falta en las conversaciones pues son los verbos, ¿no? Que están en pasado participio. Ok. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Eh, one second. Number one. Conversation number one. Has Bob... Project. Played... No. Project. Uh, can you spell it, Parra? R E R R E No. The word yeah. don't, don't start with R. Anyone hear the first word? No? No. One second, one second. Let's see, let's see. Sorry, my. Okay. Conversation one. Listen. Has Bob arrived yet? Has Bob? Right yet. Okay. Right no. The answer is, has Bob arrived yet? Let's hear again. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. Listen. Conversation one. Has Bob arrived yet? 
Yes, arrived yet? Very yes. good. Let's continue. Has Bob arrived yet? No, he hasn't. Gone. One second. Okay. No, he hasn't. Gone. Gone. Uh, sorry, Jesus, what did you say? Gone. Going? Going? Going, no. But um. is go. What am I done? Gone. Uh, can you spell it, please? G-O-N-E. Mm, no. Similar. Es parecido. Jesus also say gone. No, it's not gone. It's similar. Está parecida la letra. Okay, I, I am going to help you. Les voy a ayudar. What is the past participle of the verb get? Got. Got no. is past got. simple. Got. Got is past simple. Past participle. Go then. Very good. Okay. This is the answer. Esta es la respuesta. Don't worry. When I finish the, when we finish the answers, cuando terminemos esta conversación, let's hear it. La vamos a escuchar, ¿ok? To see if is correct the answer, para ver si está correcta nuestras respuestas. Number, bueno, next sentence. Has anyone? Try it. Try it. Very good. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Maybe he has. Slip. Yes, the answer, but the answer has something else. Pero la respuesta tiene algo más. Anyone can hear the answer? Alguien pudo escucharlo? Maestro, esto se copia en la libreta. No, you can work in the document. Puedes trabajar en el documento. Porque yo lo que hice fue copiarlo y crear un documento adjunto de Classroom y ya lo pegué y lo estoy resumiendo hasta ahí. Ah, ok, it's the same, es lo mismo. Lo único que hice fue copiar esa información en otro documento. Pero lo, puede, okay. o lo podrías haber lo trabajado en, en el celular. Pues no, 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 no. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, está bien. Lo importante es que tengas la, el ejercicio okay, con las okay. respuestas. It's ok, it's ok. Ok. Yeah. So, the complete answer, Sofía, but is overslept. Ok. Overslept. Maybe she, the man, speak quickly. Tal vez lo dijo muy rápidamente el hombre. Ok. Woman. Or maybe he is... What? Sorry, God. Eh, Am I nanny? Forgot. Ok. Forgot. Forgot is past simple. Forgot. Thank you. Very good. Remember, the present perfect always is with the past participle of the main verb. Recuerden que el presente perfecto siempre va con el pasado participio del, del, stand, del verbo principal. Okay? So, 
right now, let's hear if we have the correct words. Ahora vamos a ver si tenemos pues las respuestas correctas. Ok. So. Very good. Ok. And one. Listen. Has Bob arrived yet? No, he hasn't gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Hmm, maybe he's overslept. Or maybe he's forgotten there's a meeting. He's correct. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so quickly, quickly, let's practice the pronunciation. Rápidamente vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Eh, Parra, you are going to be the man. Sofia, you are going to be the woman. Okay, quickly. Has Bob arrived yet? He hasn't gotten here yet. Has anyone tried to call him? I don't think anyone has. Maybe he has overset. Maybe he's forgotten there, there is a meeting. Excellent. Very good. Eh, do you understand the conversation? ¿Entienden la, entienden la conversación? Yo sí. Ok. So, so. so, so. Para, so, so. help me to translate the conversation. One second, one second. Everyone, please listen, Parra. Todos escuchen a Parra, por favor. Bob ya llegó. No, él no ha estado o oh, oh, no ha estado aquí. ¿Por, por qué tiene un signo de interrogación? Eh, no, he hasn't gotten here yet. No, él no está aquí. Como que la mujer tampoco está en ese lugar. ¿Sí me explico? ¿Alguien ha tratado de llamarlo? No, no creo que alguien lo ha hecho. Tal vez él se quedó dormido. O tal vez él le olvidó esta reunión. Thank you. Very good. O tal vez ella, él ha olvidado que hay una reunión. Very good. Conversation number two. Okay. Have you seen? Uh, yes. Just the correct pronunciation, Fatima, is sent. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Why haven't you? Finish. Thank you. Finish. Okay. Next answer. No, I haven't. Anyone heard the answer? I can show the respuesta. I haven't had. Excellent. I haven't had. No he tenido. Have you? Finish. 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 Yes. I have. Very good. Okay, so let's see if we have the correct answer. Caught 
conversation two. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Oh, why haven't you finished? I haven't had time to check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. Almost done. Conversation three. Okay, very good. So now, Fatma, let's practice the pronunciation. And Jesus, you are going to be the man, please. Have you sent the report? No, I haven't. Why haven't you finished? I haven't had time. Creo que I think Fatima has internet problems. I am going to finish. To check the spelling. Have you finished writing it? Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, continue, Fatima. Read the sentence. Yes, I have almost done. Thank you. Very good. Okay, so this conversation, do you understand it? ¿Entienden esta conversación? Sí, esto sí, maestro. Hey, Diego, help me, help me, Diego, to translate and, and finish with this, <laughs> with this part. Okay. Enviaste el reporte. No lo hice. No, no lo envié. Eh, ¿Por qué no lo terminaste? No he tenido tiempo de ver el, la pronunciación. No, eh, no sé qué es spelling. Spelling, el, sí. El, como que la gramática, la pronunciación. Ok. Correct. La ortografía. Eh, ¿terminaste, ¿Terminaste de escribirlo? Sí, casi lo termino. Thank you. Very good. Ok. So, eh, tomorrow, when we finish the quiz, we are going to finish with this exercise. Mañana, cuando terminemos con la lección, vamos a terminar con esta parte. We have conversation three and conversation four. I am not leaving you homework because tomorrow we have quiz. No les voy a dejar tarea, jóvenes, porque mañana también... Maestro, este, de este como es archivo adjunto, se lo voy a enviar y cuando mañana lo estemos resolviendo, le voy a anular la entrega y ya cuando lo resuelva bien, se lo vuelvo a enviar bien. De hecho, de hecho este, ahorita voy a cambiar la fecha de entrega en Classroom, porque si lo ven, se entrega el día de hoy, pero este, como no hemos terminado la actividad, la voy a cambiar hasta el día de mañana la entrega, para que no nos salga como entregado retra con retraso. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. okay. So, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. That is everything for today. Bye. Eso es todo por hoy. Y, Bye. y nada más de nuevo, jóvenes, que se la pasen muy bien el día de hoy. Que tengan un bonito día con su familia. Hoy es un día especial. ¿Ok? Y les mando un fuerte abrazo a todos, jóvenes. ¿Ok? Hasta luego. Hi, See you tomorrow. Hi, Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Feliz día del amor y la amistad. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye.